So this is July 8th. Um, you can see here a lot of changes from the last video. Um, in the front here, you can see a couple of the dahlias that are coming in here, the yellow flowers here. These are new this year. Uh, they were donated by a neighbor um, as tubers, and I planted them, and so they're starting to come in here. Um, just a few of them, though. About half of them did not survive. Um, and then up on the uh, main part of the hillside here, you can see that obviously the daylilies are in full force up there, really coming in now. We've had some good rains the last few days. You can see mostly it's the orange type, but you can see uh, here on the right edge um, behind the hosses there, I'll zoom in a bit, you can see there are some yellow ones there. And of course you can see the purple flowers from the hosses themselves there as well. Uh, here in the front, of course, all of the iris flowers are, are long gone. The iris are here, but the flowers are long gone. But I was excited to see, I'm going to walk down here a bit, I was excited to see that we've got a couple other new things starting here or coming in. Um, I'll zoom in here. You can see here, this is actually a uh, yellowish calla lily. Um, again, this was donated by a neighbor. Um, they gave uh, some bulbs, um, or corms I think they may be, um, planted them and that came in. There's another one a little bit further along. It's very, very small, very hard to see. But you can see kind of back there, there's a red calla lily coming in just there. Um, but what's also interesting if we walk along here is, let's see if I can find one. Um, yeah, if I go in here carefully, you'll see that we're also getting some interesting um, iris seed pods. There you go. There's an iris seed pod right there. Zoom in on that. Um, and so that's basically the fertilized iris flowers, pollinated iris flowers. They'll form seed pods and then they'll scatter the seeds. It'll be interesting to see if they're hybrids or not, who knows. Um, and then behind that here, you'll see getting a, uh, getting a little oak sapling coming in. That's probably about a one foot tall oak sapling now. Um, that's been there since, uh, I believe since last year, I remember it there. So now it's really taking root and over time that thing's gonna get very big it will probably push out um, this cherry tree here that you see. Um, my guess is that the oak over the next 10, 10 years or so will likely choke out the cherry tree. But the cherry tree is growing quickly and establishing itself. Uh, I believe this is a black cherry tree uh, native to the region. So that's a quick update. It's uh, again, um, it's a nice July day here, relatively cool and doing well.